Hi everyone, it's Father Mark at St. Pat's of Heather Downs with a story about a CEO who has a big party for all of his executives and middle management. And this is a huge house and he's taking them all around and they go in the back and it's the largest swimming pool they'd ever seen. But oddly enough, the swimming pool was filled with alligators. And the, and the CEO says, you know, to me, the most important quality of anyone who works for me is courage. It's courage that made me CEO. It's courage that made me a billionaire. And I'll tell you, if any of you have the courage to jump in this pool and swim through the alligators and out the other side, I will give you anything I have, my job, my money, my house, my cars, headlines in the newspaper, whatever you want, I will give to you if you're that brave. And everybody was just laughing at how ridiculous that offer was. And they're just having the party. All of a sudden though, a few minutes later, there was a big splash. And there was the chief financial officer who was kind of, you know, a, a pencil pusher, right? He's kind of nerdy. He's swimming for his life. And he's dodging alligators, you know, and he gets to the end, he jumps out of the pool just as the alligator misses him. And he, <sighs> and the CEO is so impressed. He couldn't believe it. He said, Samson, wow, I didn't know you had it in you. You are probably the bravest person I have ever met because of your courage. Let me know what I can give you. I'll give you anything you want. And guys, I only want one thing. I want to know who the heck pushed me in the pool. Now there's no laugh track. But you know, I think it's one of my favorite stories. And today I'm drawn to this story because I liked what he said. I only want one thing. Now, in the case of the silly story, you know, it was about revenge. But recently, Bishop Barron reminded all of us about the four things that St. Thomas Aquinas, his hero in faith, said there were four things that kept us and could distract us from connection to the living God, which Jesus called the kingdom of God. So what's keeping us from being at peace, from having perspective, from being spiritually free and not having to constantly be worried about what people are thinking or being panicked that we're doing the wrong thing. Aquinas said the four things that can take away our joy are the consumption and the obsession with wealth and what we own and what we accumulate. Number two, power. Three, pleasure. And four, honor. I think when we think about the guy who only wants one thing, Jesus says, be like a child who doesn't know about making money and getting ahead, who doesn't worry about what people think of him or her, right? Who isn't worried about honor or wealth or pleasure, maybe a popsicle or a cake, right? But they're just in the moment and they're connected to God. Let's take a moment today to ask the Lord Jesus to help us examine our conscience, if you will. How can we get too attached to what people think of us, of who's in control, of what we own, what we're making, or how we're feeling right this moment. And let's ask God to help us to let go of that so we can have a deeper connection to his living spirit, the kingdom of God, that's always here for us. God bless you. Have a great day.